Cochin Shipyard Limited has delivered the first of the eight anti-submarine warfare shallow water craft to the Indian Navy. Hyderabad's Ragu Vamsi Aerospace Group is developing a 4.9 kN class turbofan engine for long-range cruise missiles. After India recovered eight near-intact PL-15E missiles, the Chinese Air Force has scaled down procurement of PL-15 missiles and is now advancing with the new 250 km range PL-16 missile. Indian startup Zulu Defence Systems has unveiled its new ZBFPV drone designed for the Army's tactical units and special forces. The drone can carry and deploy up to 2 kg of mortar payload, enabling precision strikes on enemy positions and light vehicles, and it can also be customized for reconnaissance missions. Bangalore-based Veda Aeronautics has confirmed development of a 1,000 km range swarm drone system designed for saturation attacks and long-range loitering strikes, that can be air-launched from C-130 JC-295 and IL-76 aircraft. The Indian Air Force is planning a new airbase in Madhya Pradesh, that will be spread over 1,000 acres, supporting fighter jets transport aircraft and intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance operations. The DRDO is developing quantum sensors capable of detecting submarines up to 200 to 300 meters deep, using ultra-sensitive magnetometers on UAVs or maritime aircraft, and indigenous prototypes are expected within two to three years. The advanced iron bird test facility for the AMCA will be ready by April 2028, that will simulate 1000 plus flight hours on the ground, and will test flight controls avionics and engines on the ground, before the first flight of AMCA in 2029. Ahead of the delivery of the 4th S-400 squadron in 2026, another batch of Indian Air Force personnel have departed for training in Russia on the S-400 system. This development comes at a time when New Delhi is in talks to acquire five additional S-400 systems to expand coverage across key strategic sectors, and there is also a high possibility that India will also evaluate the next generation S-500 system during this training phase. Bharat Electronics Limited has outbid data patterns, to secure the DRDO's cutting-edge distributed aperture system program for the AMCA Mark II program, that will provide the AMCA with 360 degrees real-time situational awareness, missile warning capability, and enhanced night vision performance, marking a key step toward India's next-generation stealth sensor suite. The Defence Acquisition Council has cleared military modernization projects worth 79,000 crore rupees, that includes four landing platform docks, a fresh batch of S-400 missiles worth over 10,000 crore rupees, 1,000 km range collaborative long-range target saturation and destruction system under the Make-2 category worth 5,500 crore rupees, Nag Mark II missile systems worth 2,500 crore rupees, mobile electronic intelligence systems, electro-optical infrared research and track system, high mobility vehicles, 30 mm naval surface gun, advanced lightweight torpedoes, and smart naval munitions for 76 mm super rapid gun mount. With just eight mobile batteries strategically deployed across four states, the upcoming 800 km range Brahmos LR missile will cover the entire Indian subcontinent. Their overlapping strike envelopes will ensure that no target in Pakistan or China remains out of reach. When deployed in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, it would create a powerful anti-access zone over the Andaman Sea and Northern Malacca Strait, allowing India to monitor or block critical shipping routes and target enemy vessels within minutes. Today's Top 3 Comments